We all know that in order for medical staff to save lives and promote good health, the city's hospitals are busy, noisy places. But today, they move the noise to another facility. The steps of City Hall is where nurses spoke out against what they call deteriorating conditions at city-run public hospitals. 12 patients for one nurse. Now you tell me, what type of adequate care are these patients getting? She works at Harlem Hospital, but nurses here said conditions are similar at all 11 of the city's public hospitals. What's needed, they say? More money. We need these. We need to keep these nurses. The nurses are leaving. We need to retain these nurses. Specifically, they say at the city's privately owned hospitals, nurses earn on average about 14 percent more than public hospital nurses, or about a thousand more dollars per month. And they say there aren't enough nurses. People are going to be continue getting sick, sicker than what they are. Some may even die if we don't get these safe staffing levels. Their labor contract expired a week ago. They hope for a new one similar to one private hospitals recently made that sets a limit on how many patients a nurse can see at once and increases staff. Many prominent elected officials joined the nurses today and Mayor de Blasio here between campaign trips gave a thumbs up, but He's a very busy man lately, you know, running for president. Um, it would be nice if he would dedicate some of that attention to his city and to the nurses and really put his money where his mouth is. Now, the city's Health and Hospitals Corporation operates the public hospitals. They gave us this statement this afternoon saying, we have hired over 340 new nurses to make sure we deliver the safest and highest quality care possible. We have a strong relationship with the New York State Nurses Association and look forward to working together to support our nurses. A new contract negotiation begins starting next week.